everyone, I recently bought this wooden train for my friend's little girl and I thought I would paint it up and film the process. So the first thing I did was sanded all of the wooden areas. I put on a glove because I've got um, gel nails on, I did not want to ruin those. <laughs> so sanded every area, make sure that it was like roughened a little bit and so this is that the paint stick. So there's just various angles and shots of me sanding. I did sand the bottom, but to be honest, I didn't actually paint it, so it's not something you really need to do. Now I've prepped everything, and it is the best bit. So this is the paint that I've gone for. I found it really hard to find um, furniture or wood paint, so I've gone for these. I think the majority will be pink, and then maybe the front and this bit are going to be grey. The only problem is the wheels. You can't really get like plastic paint. Um, and then if you do, whether it, like, you take it outside, it's going to go a bit weird. So um, I've just gone for these. Hopefully it'll be okay. Um, this is weird. On the back, it doesn't say about putting a primer, like a white primer on. It just says you can paint straight on. I guess if you sanded it, then it's going to help stick. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to go for. I've got my paintbrushes here white spirit because um, that is to wash them but let's see how it goes so the whole painting process went quite well I would say um, as I said I didn't prime it I just put the paint straight on I think if you want like a really really professional finish then priming is best I th also think a couple of areas that I needed to sand a little bit more but once I got painting I was like I just want to paint now and get it done um, you're all probably going to say what happened about the wheels. As you can see, I didn't cover them. You get to a point when you're like, I'm just going to get paint on the wheels and I'll show you later how I get the paint off. I use a really small paintbrush for painting behind the wheels and then the little circle, more intricate details, which made it a little bit easier. I did, I think, two coats all together on the train. And this is what it looked like. This was after day one and then I just used like a paintbrush even further and just did other coats and made it look pretty. And now I will take you to me talking to the camera once more. So I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I obviously need to get the paint off the wheels. Bit I'm not happy with is this bit at all. I, it must be the type of paint because it's done similar to the front. It just doesn't lie that nice or lay that nice. Um, I'm thinking, you know, should I do another layer, but and then it's going to be even more thicker, so I'm not sure. Also need to paint the back bit. Um, I've got a few wet patches at the minute, so I'll wait until that is done. The next thing on my list is to stick this on. Um, I got it from Etsy and it came with these decora um, decorations, instructions here. When I ordered this, I thought it was going to be the whole distance of this. As you can see, it's not, <laughs> so do I put it here? It's, it looks pretty rubbish now because it's so small. I think I might put it there, to be honest, because I don't want it to be too, like, in a lost space. Um, I mean, I thought about putting it here, but, because that will take away from it, but then I don't know how nice it is going to lay. So I think it's going to go there. I'm pleased to say the application of this was so easy. All I did was peel it off, stick it where I wanted it, and then use like a credit card to just push it on. And then I literally just peeled it off and it worked so well. Mission, get the paint off the wheels has started. So I've got a J cloth, which I started rubbing it with, but I mean, it's not gonna budge. So. I'm trying with this now, but obviously I don't want to get it too near the paintwork. So I'm just going to carry on doing this. And this is the after. It looks better in person than on camera. The only thing, as I said, I'm gutted about is these. I mean, they would look so much better if they were dark grey or light grey. Um, or even just fully black. I just don't think the red looks good. Um, and I don't know whether I should have kept this pink but I don't want to do another layer on it now but I'm happy with it I hope she likes it and they've got the little Sophia on there again I would have loved that to be bigger but that was my own fault it was really easy to do I'll put the total cost links to paint and stuff like that below so you can see 
but I hope it gave you an idea. I love doing little crafts like this, so it was a lot of fun. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.